Good cold morning, everybody. We had a freeze last night here in Texas. I got up at 4.30. It was bright moonlight. My goodness, it looked like somebody had left all the lights on outside. It was a really bright moonlight, wasn't it, Mo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, of course, I woke up early, concerned for my cows. And uh, once I kind of woke up and thought about them, because I didn't get hay out for them yesterday evening, I said, man, I just couldn't lay there with guilt and shame. I got up at 4.30 and made me some coffee and went out at 5 a.m. and fed the cows. Well, I got a package that was being shipped to me, a big crate from Boston uh, from my friend Paul and his buddy. So right now, Mel and I, we've got to head over to the west side of Dallas near Grand Prairie to the FedEx facility and go pick up my big crate. Don't want to tell what it is yet, and it's going all the way to the Philippines. It sure is. Here at the FedEx facility, I'm so excited to pick up this crate loaded in the truck here. And I wish I could tell you what's in it. Top secret though. <laughs> it's gonna get resent with another freight company all the way to the Philippines. Don't know how long it'd take you to get there with all that pork congestion going on these days. The mystery crate right there. They finally get over that side, son. Uh -huh. You need to get over there, you're gonna hit that. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you got it? Oh, you got it right there. So there's the mystery box right there. <laughs> I'm so excited for that crate coming in. But I want to tell you what's in there. I'm very, very happy about it. When I get that to the Philippines, I'm going to be one happy man. Yeah. We'll see how quick it gets there. You may not see that again for a while, but I'm pretty excited. Well, there it is right there. This is what my excitement's been about. There it is. Right there. Mer Cruiser. You see that? Alpha Diesel. This is a, a Zuzu Mer Cruiser Diesel. Turbocharged. There's everything here. Everything. Go through the transom. There's the the Mercruiser Cruiser outdrive, prop, shifter, everything, dorsal fin, all the cables, the manuals, all every manual, every book to it, every manual, everything. Mercruiser Cruiser Alpha Diesel right here. Um, Marine Diesel, the outdrive, all the transom mount, shifter, everything, manuals, the whole nine yards. This little turbo Isuzu marinized Mercruiser diesel. 
And so this is what I was sending. I was so excited about because as I told, I'm going to have me a one thing over there that I want to enjoy. And that is a boat out on the water and dealing with those outboard engines. Come on, let's face it. They're always giving trouble. And, uh, I just don't want to deal with a gas motor over there, but I don't want to deal with one of their little air cool little tuk, 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 diesels there either. This is a small but powerful little diesel right here, turbo diesel. And this engine has just been rebuilt. A subscriber and friend, my friend Paul, he had a buddy, this was in his boat up in Boston, up in Massachusetts. And he had just had this engine gone through and rebuilt to fresh rebuild. He spent, I think about four grand having it gone through. And right after that, he decided that he wanted to put a big brand new outboard on his boat. And so he has a really nice boat that uh, he loves up there. So he decided to go with the big old outboard and probably spending a pretty penny, probably spending over 30 grand having a new outboard and a transom modification done on his boat. And Paul knew I wanted one of these diesels. He shouted at his friend. His friend watches our channel. And he hooked me up with this for a sweet, sweet, sweet price, ready to drop it in the boat. That is worth a pretty penny. And I am super super thankful and appreciative of paul's friend and paul's effort of building this great crate and hauling it and everything but oh paul he's going to get a benefit out of it because once we get this in a good boat over the next while um paul's retiring there to the philippines in the same town as me with his wife anna and paul's an avid fisherman He's grown up right up there by the shores at Plymouth and all around Massachusetts there. And this is going to be something that he too will get to enjoy and benefit from. So there it is. Uh, you're probably not going to find just any and everybody with this motor over there in the Philippines. But it's something easy to repair. Let's face it, the Filipinos know diesels well. This is an Isuzu diesel, the same that's in a lot of the little trucks over there. That means I'll actually be able to get parts. Um, when the Isuzu marinized this diesel, they didn't do any kind of modifications like special cams or anything like that, like a lot of your gas marinized engines in the US are. So I can go there and buy standard Isuzu truck parts for this motor, and they should go right on there. This should last me a good long while. Very proud to get this, and thank you so much for for Paul and his buddies um, this dedication and friendship to help me do this I, I appreciate it deeply Ha, 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 ha. 